I want to take a look because I also interviewed yeah. uh, I interviewed a few of your Breaking Bad co-stars about just the sheer intensity of what it was like yeah. to to be on those shoots when there were, when passions were running so high and there were so many hugely emotional volatile performances. So I had Dean Norris on and I also had Betsy Brandt on. Let's just take a look at uh, at what they how they described the the intensity of the show. I said, did we get it? And he said, yeah. And I just started crying. Mm. And then I said to Brian, I said, can I hug you? I said, because um, <laughs> I don't want to cry right now. I said, I hate looking you in the eye and saying that to you and meaning it while I say it. Because when I said that, I meant it. And um, he just hugged me. And, and then I, I said, I'm ready to do a comedy. <laughs> that's great, because she gives a shit about her job, yeah. Yeah. That's nice. I was wondering whether that's... I was that like a... doing shots of tequila going, have you done yet? Yeah, because I love you too. Get I was it. wondering if that's some, a personality tray of, of Betsy's or if that was the atmosphere on set uh, all, it was, all no, the way it was, it was pretty, you know, we, we kind of knew where that show had gotten by that point, you know, and so everyone was, it was pretty intense, you know. But it wasn't like diva-esque intense. Everybody was still having fun. But, you know, we knew that it was the, the, it was the final eight. We knew that everything we were shooting was going to be important, and so we mm. wanted to take it seriously. Seriously, and what was it like uh, working with those guys? Uh, it, it was a pleasure. You know, I came to the show very green and, and very new. I, I didn't have a, a work history like everyone else did. I, I was only in the business for about a year, six months even, and I learned so much. And really, it was intense, but it was this amazing intensity that you have to be there to see and to understand it. And I think every actor should have that 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 privilege mm. because you you grow and you learn and you take what you've seen and it, it's a remarkable it, it's given me a career it, it's changed my life it's changed how I look at film and television and it's changed how I read scripts and what I do to work on those scripts and and what I was doing I, right before I walked in here I was reading sides for an audition tomorrow I it, it's changed my mindset and it's one of those things where it is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Not many people get this opportunity, and not many people live long enough to see it go out with a bang. And we're lucky enough that my character was there from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. And I learned, and I grew, and I grew with everyone. And it's a remarkable experience when you're able to, to see a 180, and not just your character, but in yourself. Were any of the cast members more or, or less proactive in kind of coaching you or training you or giving you tips or helping you through particular scenes? I, y yes and no, in, in a sense. And when, when, I, when I work, I'm a very, I like to watch. I'm a very observant person. And when it comes to acting and when it comes to, to learning in general, I, I'm a person that's by doing. Mm -hmm. don't, don't give me a book. I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'll read a book all day long, but it goes one ear and out the other. <laughs> But you, you give me, you put me in a position and you give me a situation and I will, I will do what's right for my character in that. And that's what I learned. And I was able to learn from Brian and, and Anna and Betsy and Dean and, mm. and, and to see how they go into these roles and they go into these characters and when they're offset and onset, the differences. Yeah. It's, it's a remarkable experience. I, I tell everyone and that... You can go to acting classes, you can, you can read many books, but being on a set and working with actors of that caliber, it's a master acting class. Episode six or seven, whatever it was, and, uh, of that last eight, and, um, and this is how you're gonna die, too. He said, wow. yeah, he said, he said you're not gonna have anything, you'll go out with your dignity, so that's what you need. 